Welcome back to the Firebug video series. In our last video, we looked at how Firebug works and how to navigate through a website with it. Now, let's dig a little deeper and use Firebug to change how something is displayed on the site. In these videos, we will be using actual support requests as our examples. This should give you an idea of how to use Firebug on your own to make CSS customizations to your own site. So let's get into our first example. On our support forms, we get a lot of requests to do customizations for our themes. Let's look at one of those requests to learn how Firebug can be used to change how an element is being displayed on the site. One of our recent requests was this. A further problem that we have is with the light box that we need to fix urgently. There is an arrow button at the bottom right of the light box rollover frame. I don't want any visitors of the page to see this arrow, or on any page in fact. It would be great if we could just globally hide it. I hope that you can help me with this, as this is one of the remaining obstacles for us to complete our site. Many thanks. This is a great question, and a great example to show you how the support team quickly answered the request with no prior knowledge of how the site was coded. The user in this case was using the fully responsive Reason WordPress theme, but this should apply to the entire family of Super Skeleton themes. You can still follow along if you're not using one of our Super Skeleton themes, as this process will look similar for all websites. The part that will be different for you if you're not using one of our themes is how you apply the CSS that you've come up with to your own site. So let's first identify the problem element by navigating to it. Let's open our browser to our site, and in this case, we'll want to go to the portfolio page. As we hover over the image thumbnails in this portfolio page, we will find the element in question here. We know from the request that they are referring to the up right arrow that is displayed when we hover over the post thumbnail. Let's right click on the element and select inspect element. Now you will see the Firebug panel open with the HTML for the element highlighted in the left panel. We can see that this element is actually an anchor nested inside of a div that has the class of lightbox link. If we click that div, we will see the corresponding CSS rules that govern for this entire element on the right. From the HTML, we know that the main selector currently influencing our element is the class lightbox link. Our CSS panel shows us various rules relating to that class. If we focus our attention on the second rule listed, we will find it influencing all of the class lightbox links that are within the class module-image. The declaration for this rule is linked to an image URL, and as you can see, this is in fact the element in question. If you wanted to modify how the element is being displayed, you can change the CSS right here in the panel. To do this, just click the selector, property, or value, and make your changes to the information. In addition, we can add other declarations to our selectors by right-clicking within the rule and adding a new property. We can also disable the display of a declaration by clicking this icon on the left. What we want to do is to set our div class lightbox link to hide itself. Let's add a new property to this rule called display and give it a value of none. Now we will see that our element has been hidden from view. Just a note, editing CSS with Firebug only temporarily edits how your browser is displaying a site and doesn't affect anyone else viewing it. If you were to close Firebug and refresh the page, it would revert back to its original stage and your changes would be lost. So after we have achieved the look that we want, we'll want to copy that rule and paste it into our site. Since we are using one of the Super Skeleton themes by Epic Era from ThemeForest, all we need to do is paste this custom CSS snippet to our custom CSS panel in our option tree theme options and save it to our site. Let's copy the new rule Navigate into the admin side of our site, open the option tree theme options panel, and navigate to the custom CSS panel. We are currently running the reason theme, so we are going to click on the skin options tab and scroll to the bottom. All of the responsive super skeleton themes from Epic Era have a place for custom CSS that can be found in the option tree theme options. When you have found your custom CSS panel, paste the CSS rule that we copied into the text area. If you have other rules that have been added here, just add the new rule below the last one. You can also take this time to alter the rule any way you want. 
Since we only want to hide the class lightbox link, we don't need all of the extra declarations for this rule. Make sure to close the bracket and click Save All Changes. OK, now if we go to the front end of our site and click Refresh, you will see that the element has been globally hidden from displaying itself. There are many other things that Firebug can be used for, like altering the color of your headings and changing the position of various elements. Whatever your customizations are, this should get you started on making alterations to your own site in a safe and secure way. Don't forget to check out the resources for this video in the notes section, continue to hit us up for theme support on Tixie, and check out our other premium WordPress themes at themeforest.net. I'm Charlie, thanks for watching.